Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. We're on the theme of restoration and why you need to go after it yourself. Kind of emphasizing the fact that it's not about sitting back and waiting for God to do what he said he will do for you. It's about what you need to be doing in the time in between. Um, Life, unfortunately, life isn't just about God serving us. No, we serve him. And we may have to be cultivating our faith in between between sort of blessings or in between uh, seasons, marked seasons in our lives. There are things we need to be doing in between. We need to be standing on guard all the time for a start. And in any case, if we, if we had to be just waiting passively, wouldn't that make for a boring life? Um, and yes, unfortunately, sometimes, um, it, you know, the, the, the Christian walk is, can, is just full of warfare. That's all part of the walk. The warfare actually never really stops um, because you're constantly confronting, confronted by entities of darkness in a bid to cause you to curse God and die, basically. You remember the famous words of Job's wife um, when Job went through the trial that he went through um, and his wife was just, they lost everything. They lost their children, they lost their wealth. Job became sick. It was just, I can't even begin to imagine how they felt. Um, But this really did happen. And as we know, we all know why it happened. In this case, unlike some of us, in this case, it wasn't even really Job's fault. Um, He, God God sort of, I don't know how to put it, but God was so proud of him that he put his test to the, his faith to the test just to demonstrate to the devil that Job would never forsake his faith in God. And we all know how it went. Um, everything got lost. The children died. Everything, the, the wealth, the animals, just it was just everything happened all at once. So it was a, an extremely dist- distressful time for Job and his family. And his wife just said, oh, just curse God and die, right? Um, that's what the kingdom of darkness wants you to do. That's what entities of darkness, in all your efforts to pray and fast and seek God and stand by his words, and as you start to see the fulfillment of his word um, be, you know, manifest in your life, it can, it can, entities of darkness don't like that. They watch you consistently, um, just looking for slip-ups or looking for areas of weakness and looking for open doors by which they can enter and wreck your life. And you need to be standing on guard. God will show you. God uses different means to show you. He'll use your dreams. You literally dream. Sometimes you dream literal dreams, obviously not literally as in the physical realm, but literally in the spirit realm. Uh, All dreams are literal anyway in the spirit realm. And they are showing you that there's one or two open doors in your life and you need to do something about that. It's a life of just constantly checking yourself. It's a life of being accountable. And it's a life of standing by those promises, keeping stock and keeping guard and keeping remembrance, bringing God back his word to say, Father, you said this. And thanking him in advance for fulfilling his word. After all, he said, he is the, for me, this is the biggest promise. God said his word will not return to him void. For me, that's like, that, you know, that, that is a guarantee. His word won't return to him void. However, even then, even with that word of knowing that, no, God said he'll do this, so it's going to happen. I, you, I can't just sit back and relax and say, oh, it's a done deal then. Because in between, the enemy is constantly setting traps to to get me to forget God, to curse God and die, to get me to do things that are contrary to this walk with Christ and um, and sin against God. And, you know, I, after all, the wages of sin is death. But in this case, again, this is an exciting scripture which says, the Lord restored the fortunes of Job. This After he lost everything, he was given double. That's what it says at, at this end, guys. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The excitement for me is God is no respecter of men. And if he did this for Job, he'll do this for me. He'll do this for my family. He'll do this for everybody else. And so I'll always remind God that he is a God who does that. And he is a God who will do this for me. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Have a lovely day.